Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. All right, we're going to uh, near disaster, really near disaster. Uh, so let's see, I'm trying to think what day it was. Thursday, uh, I was on my way out. I live in West Virginia. It's all mountainous, as we know. Uh, I was, I, I could tell I had a little squeaking with the brakes. Uh, West Virginia is very hard on brakes. So I, uh, I was uh, going um, down. There's a lot of switchback roads uh, coming out of the mountains, and that's where I had to go. And I, uh, all of a sudden, in my truck, the light goes on, and it said, uh, brake fluid low. Now, I want you to understand what was happening. I was going straight downhill. Not straight down, but back and forth. Twists and turns. And so what happened was, I, uh, going downhill, doing these switchbacks like this, and the brakes were pretty much gone. Uh, I will tell you what, I had a pucker factor of 10 because it was very scary. Uh, got down into the flat, the bottom of the valley, and uh, called uh, Old Mutt and his uh, nephew, told him what was going on, and so they came, uh, went down, picked up some brake fluid, and called and talked to Mark. And uh, so, uh, you see Mark over there right now. Called and talked to Mark. And uh, he said, well, he either blew a brake line or it's a caliper. So we uh, went, um, I, I went, and I was going to change the brake pads on the front brakes anyway. So I went and got the um, old mutt, you know, and his nephew picked me up. We went and picked up more brake fluid, got the new caliper, and I said, okay. Now on the way back, it's mostly uphill. I think I can get the truck back here to the property. I can use the emergency brake. Well, in the Ford F-150, it's an electronic emergency brake, so it's just a switch that you pull. So what I did, uh, I was going uphill doing that, and uh, whenever I had to do a little incline, I would touch that emergency brake to slow the truck down. Uh, got back into the property. If you remember, the first part of the property is like that coming in, and then you basically come up after that. So that part was a little scary on that downward part. Got the truck in, and I didn't take it down into the lower meadow. I parked it right here, okay? So uh, today, uh, when we had gone out, we went out and I got a, uh, um, a new caliper. Hold on, we're gonna... Came apart. Why? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. So, um, Mark is taking care of that for us and fixing that right now. So, very much appreciated. Uh, I only do this so he doesn't beat me. That's right. That's right. Again. Again. <laughs> so, but. Uh, so that's what's going on there. Um, really scary. I, I'll, I'll tell you what, going when you're going down a switchback road on the side of a mountain, where the left side of the mountain, basically if you go off that side, uh, it's you know a couple hundred foot drop. Uh, that is very, very scary with no brakes. I can tell you that right now. Uh, it's sometimes it's scary with brakes. <laughs> right, right. Um, so anyway, that uh, you know that we so we got the truck back here 
Uh, they follow behind me just in case there was any issues. And so we got the truck here. Um, and the brakes, like I said, the regular brakes were not working at all. Not at all. Uh, basically, I'd touch the brakes and I'd go all the way to the floor. So, it, yeah. It hyper, when the pad came apart, hyper extended the caliper and just pushing the fluid out. Was the caliper okay or? No, not now. Okay. <laughs> right, well. So, yeah, because I got to actually take that other caliper back because the core charge. Yeah. It was like 76 bucks just for the core charge. So I'm definitely, when we when you put the new cal or old caliper in here, I'm going to be taking it back to them so that I can get that money back. But uh, yeah, that, I'll tell you what, guys, uh, really, really scary situation. Uh, you know, I, I can't even begin to tell you, but here's something else that, that is awesome about this situation. Not only Mark taking care of this today, because Mark is like an, a mechanic extraordinaire, you know, knows what he's doing, really good at what he's doing. But not only that, but having old Mutt here and, uh, you know, Jimmy to be able to count on them to come and, you know, pick me up and, you know, and be like, yep, yeah, we'll be right there as soon as we can and be able to do that. Uh, huge, huge having people that you can rely on. Uh, really, really important, I think, in my opinion. Definitely. You know, and uh, you know, and the thing is, we all have each other's back. So, like I said, not a carpenter, not a mechanic. Uh, don't you know? I knew that the brakes were getting worse. Uh, so I just the, the game plan was to get there Thursday, do what I had to do, pick up the brake pads, come home, park the truck until you know um, Mark could get in here. And uh, but uh, that's. Uh, so that's where we're at with that one. Like I said, very, very scary situation, but we got through it. We got the truck back here in one piece, and, uh, you know, and Mark's fixing that right now. How long do you think it'll take you all together to... 20 minutes? Yeah, Power. yeah. And how... Oh, so here, here's the here's the question. What would they charge in a shop, do you think? Uh, parts probably plus $150, $200 labor or more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they would jack up the price of the uh, parts. So, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, like I said, it's good to have people that you can rely on and count on, uh, which is awesome. And uh, But we're getting this squared away, and that is a good thing. All right, so, anyway, uh, that's, I wanted to tell you what happened with that. Uh, so I've been, you know, since uh, Thursday, uh, no truck to use. <laughs> So I uh, wasn't going too far uh, anyway, so that's okay. But um, so that's where we're at. So anyway, guys, quick video to explain this to let you know what happened, and uh, we will go from there. And but then it happens to everybody. It does. It <laughs> well th again, like I, you know, in West Virginia, West Virginia is hard on brakes. So you know, because you're stopping and starting so much. And you're utilizing that, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of a rough situation. So, and Like you said about people not realizing on video how steep that hill is. Right. All the hills around here are that steep. Right. And even being down here when I leave, I forget how steep they are until the next time I come back. Right. Ugh. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, well, when you go down to the one town, and I won't say the name of the town, there's an 8% grade. So, you know, and, and that's all switch. And that, so, and just that part, um, thank goodness I wasn't on that part. Um, well, the part I was on was bad enough, but uh, just that part alone uh, is um, four and a half miles of, of straight switchbacks at an 8% grade. So that, that kind of gives you... That's where I was doing 15 miles an hour in the rain and fog with the uh, down the back. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can, I can understand that. I did not like that. Yeah, that's, it was, you didn't have a good time? It wasn't fun? No. <laughs> so... All right, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now. Uh, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, and I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. Oh, wait, 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 I didn't do all my other stuff. Either. Look at me. We are all in this together. We are one race called the Human Nurse. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, as soon as we can figure that one out, we truly will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day, tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's gonna happen in life. So it's really important to tell the people that you care about every day how you feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. 
one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goal, hey, 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 enough. The only one going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.